There's possible betrayal and disrespect in this one. Do you guys feel it? Whether or not you guys do. We're sure football superstar Cristiano Ronaldo feels it the most. Professional football player and captain of the Portuguese national football team, Cristiano Ronaldo, has retired his pitchfork and painted himself a new color as the former Red Devil waved goodbye to Manchester United. Welcome back to our channel. And for this video, we have one of the most iconic athletes kicking us off for today's session. We'll be chatting about why the star player left United in the first place, the details about his explosive interview, what's going to happen to the Red Devils, and what could possibly be the next move for Cristiano Ronaldo. The details and more in today's Celebrity Gossips. If you don't know who Cristiano Ronaldo is, have you been living under a rock? Surpassing Selena Gomez, Kylie Jenner, and even Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo has held the title of most followed person on Instagram for quite some time now, with over 500 million followers on the platform. And speaking of following, why not consider subscribing to our channel? We serve delicious hot tea here, with the occasional scones and biscuits. And hit that notification bell while you're at it. Okay, going back to Mr. Cristiano, most followed person on Instagram, Ronaldo. The world of football was shook to its core when Manchester United announced that one of its star players would be leaving the team effective immediately. This sudden move by United was caused by the interview Ronaldo did with British broadcaster Pierce Morgan last week. In the interview, the team's former forward claimed that he was being forced out by United, that senior executives lacked empathy after his newborn son passed away in April, and that the Glazer family, the club's owners, do not care about the club, and that Ten Ha, the manager, did not respect him. He also said that after Sir Alex Ferguson's departure as a manager in 2013, there's been no evolution in the team, Eric Ten Hag is Old Trafford's fifth permanent manager in the last nine years. And as he worked as the team's manager, he and Ronaldo just didn't seem to get along. He walked out of two United games after Ten Hag took over. The first sudden exit came when Ronaldo was taken off at halftime during Rayo Vallecano's July friendly visit at Old Trafford, Ten Hag having removed him because it was Ronaldo's first appearance after missing most of preseason because of a family matter. Although other United players, including Diego Dallo, left early, Ronaldo was the only one who stayed in the matchday squad. In the game against Tottenham Hotspur in October, Ten Hag gave the athlete a warning. Before the final whistle, Ronaldo refused to enter as a substitute twice, though the Red Devils still won the game 2-0. The manager did suspend the athlete for the next game, but he suddenly made him captain of their match against Aston Villa, which ended in a 3-1 defeat. Ronaldo revealed in his talk TV interview that he did not regret not going in as a substitute for the final few minutes of the game against the Spurs because he felt Ten Hag had provoked him. Along with his opinion of Ten Hag, he also mentioned how, in general, he felt betrayed by the club. With these instances as prime examples, it's really hard not to notice that the team's manager isn't really using the player who won the Ballon d'Or five times a whole lot. Can you all see the betrayal and disrespect Cristiano Ronaldo was seeing? So far, what do you think of the tension between the manager and the athlete? Let us know in the comments down below. But hold your horses now because the tension is just gonna get thicker. Days following Cristiano Ronaldo's talk TV interview, United released a statement in response to it, saying that they had initiated appropriate steps. Man United hired lawyers to investigate possible legal actions against the athlete for alleged breach of contract. Though this was the case, they preferred to arrange Ronaldo's release from the team. And on November 22, Tuesday, the football club released a statement that read, Cristiano Ronaldo is to leave Manchester United by mutual agreement, with immediate effect. The club thanks him for his immense contribution across two spells at Old Trafford scoring 145 goals in 346 appearances and wishes him and his family well for the future. The statement continued by saying, Everyone at Manchester United remains focused on continuing the team's progress under Eric Ten Hag and working together to deliver success on the pitch. English former football player Rio Ferdinand told BBC Sport that it was obvious what Ronaldo said in the interview came with the thought that he wasn't happy and wanted to leave Man United. 
He made that very clear. Ferdinand also mentioned manager Ten Hag saying, I think Eric Ten Hag got what he wanted in this situation as well. Both parties are happy and we can move on. Following the statement released by the Red Devils Football Club, the Premier League title holder released his own statement, saying that they did in fact mutually agreed to end their contract early. He added, I love Manchester United and I love the fans. That will never ever change. However, it feels like the right time for me to seek a new challenge. I wish the team every success for the remainder of the season and for the future. His love for the team became more obvious as now former teammate Bruno Fernandes says that Ronaldo was an inspiration to him and playing with him at Manchester United was a dream come true. He also said, Cristiano took a different decision for his life, his career, and we have to respect such decisions. Every decision has to be respected. And that Ronaldo's departure from the club would not affect them when representing Portugal at the World Cup in Qatar. Cristiano also said to the media in Qatar on Monday that his issue with Manchester United will not shake the Portugal team, as he is set to captain them during their opening game on Thursday against Ghana. With Cristiano Ronaldo's contract ending early in the World Cup in Qatar currently in full swing, surely football fans around the globe are roaring with so many emotions right now. Well, roar a little louder because we're not done yet. And since you've made it this far into the video, hit that like button, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll be roaring together. Alright, here's another kicker. Following the announcement of Ronaldo's release, the Glazer family owners of Manchester United are seeking to sell the football club. They said that they were commencing a process to explore strategic alternatives for the club, and that the board will consider all strategic alternatives including new investment into the club, a sale, or other transactions. That mumbo-jumbo of big words means that if an interested party with more than enough money arises, the family's 17-year ownership over United could come to an end. Ever since Malcolm Glazer won ownership over United with a £790 million takeover bid in 2005, the family has not increased their investment in the club and has actually increased its debt load and pulled money out through dividend payments. It is believed that the Glazers are selling the club because now it would be sold for a huge profit. With Cristiano Ronaldo leaving the Red Devils and the Glazers actually planning to sell the Red Devils, fans are starting to speculate where would the Portuguese football star go from there. Some say he might return to Sporting CP. Maybe because when presented with the offer, Ronaldo could possibly accept the chance to play in his home country again. Others have Chelsea in mind because Jorge Mendes, Cristiano's agent, had talked over the summer with Todd Bowley, Chelsea's new majority owner. But the more likely winner? Following Karim Benzema's withdrawal from France's World Cup squad because of a thigh injury, Cristiano Ronaldo's entourage is said to have presented a proposal to Real Madrid. That's right, there's a huge chance for Ronaldo to make a comeback with the Spanish football club he played for in 2009 to 2018. What a week to be a football fan, huh? One of the world's greatest football players left the club he's been playing for due to issues from the inside, the potential sale of Manchester United, and the possibility of Cristiano Ronaldo coming back to Real Madrid. Not only that, but the World Cup in Qatar is in full gear. Whatever way these matters end, there will always be a new challenge to seek just like Ronaldo. What a time to be a football fan. And that's the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't yet and ring that notification bell to get notified when the tea's boiling hot. And while you're still here, come check out our other videos. And we'll see you next time here in Celebrity Gossips.